welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you and to be here on this glorious day. I'm really excited because it's finally getting hot out after what felt like 10 months of winter. <laughs> it's finally warming up. It's like 80 degrees outside. So I figured I would do a video showing you guys how to carry and how to draw in a bunch of different summer outfits. So I thought it would be a fun video to do to show you guys a bunch of different holsters and how they work. I don't really go in depth into each one because that would be like an hour long video. If you have any questions about any particular holsters, you can leave me a comment and I'd be more than happy to answer that for you. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different outfits and a bunch of different holsters and how they work gonna be a good day. Also please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave comments and like this video if you like it. It really helps to support my channel when you guys interact with me that way so I hope you like this video. The first outfit I'm going to show you guys is overalls with a crop t-shirt and I'm wearing my kids. Overalls can seem like a challenge when it comes to concealment. Where do you put it? If I wore a belly band I think it would show and I obviously can't wear it on my waist so the solution I came up with to carry in overalls is using a flashbang holster. I have a short torso so I have to carry a smaller gun if I'm going to carry it in this holster which is why I bought mine for the Glock 42 and not my shield which is what I normally carry but if I'm going to carry high up on my torso in this holster specifically, it needs to be a smaller gun because I just don't have enough room there to carry my Smith & Wesson shield. The gun goes into the shell like so. And then you clip it to your bra. So the whole thing goes underneath your bra and then this clip goes over the middle of your bra and connects to the other button on the other side. So let me just do that real quick. So you can see it right there, there's the button. I'm going to button it. Okay, if I was just wearing a crop t-shirt, the grip is sticking out, but the overalls offer a little bit of concealment. So let's see how this goes. There's my outfit. Does it look like I'm carrying a gun? I don't think so. Let's practice our draw. The flashbang. Ta-da! I'm also using a Neomag for my extra magazine. I've done a whole review video on this thing if you want to know more about it. It's basically a magnetic clip that holds your magazine in your pocket. And I will link the Neomag below as well as all the holsters and stuff I use. So make sure you read the description for more information on some of these products. For this next one, I'm gonna go back to using my shield. Both these guns are empty. And I'm also going to be carrying my extra magazine. If you're like me and you like to wear body suits like this that go on the inside of your pants, this is another thing that can kind of make concealment a little tricky. I can't use the flashbang because I can't get to my gun and I can't wear it on my waist because it'll show, so what do I do? This is one of the situations I talk about where a purse might be a good option for you if you're careful and you don't leave it anywhere. You have to keep it under your direct control at all times. This one here is made by Gun Toten Mamas, and I love it because it's very durable. It's made of leather, it's good material. It has reinforced straps. It has its own large concealment pocket in the back that opens from the top, which I really like. You can get down in there and pull your gun out like this, and I'll show you how that works. So these are just other pockets you can put your stuff in, but the back has a Velcro holster, and that's where your gun goes. You can carry a bigger gun in here, because you don't have to worry about concealment. But I'm gonna be carrying my shield. So shield goes into the holster, and then I usually just zip up the side so that I can get to it faster and leave the top open like that. So that's what that looks like. Again, extra magazine is going in a Neomag and in my pocket. These shorts actually have deeper pockets, which I like. Girl pants usually have the worst pockets ever. My pepper spray by Palm, I'll put in my other pocket. I have a discount code for 10% off these things. I love them. They've got a clip, so make sure you check that out. Body suits. You can still carry, but don't leave your purse anywhere. <laughs> How do you carry in a dress 
You could carry in a purse, totally acceptable. Something like this, like I just showed you guys. But my preferred method of carrying in a skirt or a dress is to carry on my leg. Reason number one, I'd rather have my gun on my body than in something like a purse and carrying off body. So if I can carry on my body, that's usually my preferred method. A purse is usually a last resort. I carry on my leg in the summer when I'm wearing skirts and dresses because I can and because it lets me carry the gun on my body. So here we have the Can Can Concealment Thigh Holster. I'll try to do this without showing too much. Okay, so there's my gun. There's the shield right there. And I carry my extra magazine in this little pocket right here. And then you can carry a knife or pepper spray in this other pocket. Because I'm wearing something that's a little tighter on the sides, I wear the gun here on the inside of my left leg so that when I draw, I go in like this. If I had something that was puffed out a little bit more, like a fuller skirt, I could also carry on this side. It's just that with this specific dress, the material is pretty thin and it would just show too much here. But I do that as well with other dresses and skirts. A lot of people ask me about the comfort of the thigh holster. And it's not gonna be comfortable for everybody. Depending on your body type, just like any of these holsters and any holster in general, it's not gonna work the same for everybody, but I'm trying to give you guys options so you can try things out and see what does and doesn't work. For me, I find this holster to be super comfortable. I love it so much. I wear it a lot. Another thing I love about this holster is how easy it makes the draw, especially with something that opens in the front like this. Sometimes I look for skirts that have like a diagonal hem I know nothing about fashion. <laughs> and that'll make the draw easier. So let me go ahead and show you the draw in a dress from the Can Can Concealment Garter Holster. So you can still carry in a dress or a skirt by using a thigh holster. I love this thing. Let me just take it off so I can show you. Here it is, still got my knife in it. It's got silicone strips on the inside to stick to your skin on the top and the bottom. I love it. Next outfit here. These are actually shorts. It looks like a skirt, but they're actually shorts. I'm wearing just a tank top. So how would you carry in something like this? Well, I've got on my corset holster underneath this. I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Here's the corset above my shorts. I just wanna show you what it looks like all around. Make sure you're always putting your magazine facing the same direction so you don't have to turn it when you reload. So now if I wanted to access my gun, I need to pull my shirt up and draw. So I'll just show you the draw now from this type of holster. There you go. Corset holster inside a pair of shorts or a skirt with a tank top tucked in. And I'm also using my Neo Mag to hold my magazine in place. I use that even in my belly bands and corset holsters just to make sure that my magazine doesn't move around because these pockets are pretty big. This is a basic summer outfit, just shorts and you could do like a t-shirt or I'm wearing a tank top and a pair of sneakers. I'm gonna show you two different appendix holsters that work with something like this. One requires a belt and one does not. If you know me from my videos, you know that I don't really like belts, but I'm gonna show you both just in case you do. So you could do the corset holster with this, but I'm just gonna show you a couple other different options. The first one I'm going to show you is by Crossbreed Holsters. This is their appendix holster, and it's got leather on the back and a Kydex shell here with a clip, one clip. A lot of their holsters have two clips and are designed to be worn either here or here, but this one is designed to be worn right here. That's an appendix holster. Because of this clip, you do need a belt, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a belt on right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my belt on. I think I stole this from my sister. <laughs> and now I'm gonna put the holster on. So this goes right in here. And then you put the clip on the outside of the belt, just like that. This flat piece of leather is against your body, so it's pretty comfortable. And that's where your gun goes. So the gun in the holster, put your shirt over your gun. I like to tuck in just a little bit of my shirt. I just like the way that looks more when I'm wearing a belt. Extra magazine is going to go in my pocket, like so, with my Neo Mag. And that's it. It's that simple, people. Don't forget your pepper spray.
So that's the Crossbreed Appendix Holster. And now I'm going to show you a similar style. So you can see the shape is the same, but this one has a neoprene back. It's not leather. And it has this fancy little clip here. This holster is made by Ultimate Holsters. They have all different like patterns and stuff you can get on them and it's really good quality holsters. The way this clip works is you put the holster inside your pants and the outside rectangular part, this, see it folds open? You're gonna leave that on the outside. The rest of this goes on the inside of your waistband, like so. So now you can see all that's outside is the larger rectangular part. And then what you do is you bend the top part forward and that clips this bottom part to your pants. So now my pants are inside this little area here. To open it, you fold this part forward again and just unclip the bottom from your pants. So you don't need a belt with this. You do want pants that have a pretty sturdy waistband, so you can wear this with yoga pants because those are usually tighter up top and stuff like that. But if you have a pair of jeans that have a sturdy waistband, that'll work too. And that's how that works. Same idea as the crossbreed holster, but you don't need a belt. Put your shirt over it and you're good to go. So that's an ultimate holster with a fabric clip. It's called a fabric clip because it clips to fabric. Who would have thunk? So I'll draw from this holster and show you guys that the holster stays in place the whole time. See? Didn't move. While I've got this outfit on, I'm also gonna show you a belly band option that you could use with an outfit like this. So right now I've got on the Can Can Concealment Classic Hip Hugger Belly Band Holster. And I'm wearing it inside my shorts. My gun is right here. I try to center the gun a little more just to hide the grip a little better. And then I'm still carrying my extra magazine and a Neo Mag in my pocket, but I could also put it in the pocket right here. So let's do a draw from my belly band. I've just taken it out of my pants so you guys can see what the whole thing looks like. So it's this wide, two pockets up front, same thing in the back, two smaller pockets on the side. I use this for running, so you can also use this in the summertime when you go running. I have two videos featuring this holster and how I use it when I run. One is about summer, so if you wanna check that out, I will link that below. This is made of the same material and by the same company as my thigh holster, so it has silicone strips on both sides. And it's just another easy option you can use in the summertime with skirts or shorts or whatever. So my boyfriend and I are currently on our journey to hike all 48 of the New Hampshire 4,000 footers. So those are all the mountains in New Hampshire that are 4,000 feet and higher. So we hike a lot, mostly in the spring, summer, fall. So what do I use to carry when I hike? This can also apply to just like going for a walk or throwing it on whenever you want. So what I use is this fanny pack right here. Yes, a fanny pack. But you know what? They're coming back and they're practical, so don't knock it till you try it. This one's made by 511 Tactical. I use this every time I hike. So you put your gun in this elastic strap right here. I'll put it in right now so I can show you guys how that looks. So here's the gun inside the fanny pack. The strap is right here. And then what you do is you put it on. And whether you're a lefty or a righty, it has these two straps on the inside of the front. I'm a righty, so I'm gonna leave the right side up for my draw. And there's a piece of Velcro right here that it sticks to, so you just stick that little tab up, zip up the sides, and you're ready to rock. So now my fanny pack's ready to go. The one thing I like about this specifically for hiking is that I don't have to have a gun on my body when I'm getting all sweaty. Our hikes usually last for many, many hours, sometimes days, so I'm gonna throw my pack on and show you, I don't know if you can see me hanging out. Okay, so I put my pack on and the waist strap goes above the fanny pack. So it doesn't get in the way at all. You can still have your gun on you. I usually stick an extra magazine in one of these little elastics on the inside of that flap. Great option for going on walks or hiking. Not so much for running because it does flop around a bit when you run, but that is the fanny pack. So that's it for the holsters. Uh, make sure you guys read the description below because I'm gonna put all the information about the different types of holsters and links where you can find them. 
um, and any other gear I mentioned in this video. I'm gonna go and enjoy this beautiful day and I hope that you guys do the same. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.